Okay, yeah. So is, is it audible or? Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, thanks a lot for the invitation and especially to Pietro for organizing this. Yeah, so. Okay, and Fabrizio, okay, he's probably the main. <laughs> so, so the title of the talk, I mean, it's a kind of a continuation of the previous one, but okay, I will not solve any non-abelianization <laughs> equation as Mauricio advertised, but I will define a count though. In a very well known setup, yeah? For. I, is it visible? Or do you need. Okay. So, okay, so the. We have heard a lot about this. The, the starting point is an ADHM quiver. I will just recall a few facts so that we are on the same page. So there are two nodes and then there are two self adjoints. And then there are two arrows, i and j. So the space of matrices is we denoted by v n, the space of arrows, and this admits the hypercalar structure. It's a known fact from old times. And if you fix a compact group in the uh, okay, so in the in the, in the entire talk, we'll fix dimension vectors for this as n, and the other one is like one. So we take a compact subgroup of the GLN, C, and then we can define the uh, moment maps. So there are two moment maps. This will be important somehow later. So one, the physicists call them D-term equation. So that's. This is the real, this is the real one. So the twos for some reason. And then there is the complex moment map equation. Okay. So uh, we can take uh, the hyperkeller quotient of this V. Un and this okay we have need to blow up the real moment map by zeta. So this is my like a phi parameter in the theory. And this is well known. This can be computed as Hilbert scheme of n points in C two. These 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 are all known facts, I guess. Um, now, okay, to, 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 to connect to what I'm going to talk about, I need to define what a Hilbert scheme of two points are, what these things are. So, these are like zero dimensional sub schemes of a given length, but for C2, these are literally ideals. Oops. Such that the dimension of this is uh, sorry. Um, this is n. All right. So to introduce the notations, I also need to recall the GIT version of this, which is due to Nakajima. This, are, this again, okay. Known results, of course. That this can be described as in terms of triplet of these matrices, such that you impose first, and you also impose the so-called like stability condition. That uh, that there is no no um, subspace. There is no proper subset subspace. That uh, there is no proper uh, no subspace in C n. 
such that B12 of S is in S and image image of I is in S. And we quotient this by GLM. So examples of this, I mean these two examples will play roles later, so this is why I want to remind you of. So example one is okay, this is a trivial example, Hilbert scheme of one point in C2. So this would be parametrized by two scalars, literally. Now B1 and B2 are two scalars. Let's call them like lambda and mu. And I choose I equals to one because uh, as I said, like the dimensional vectors are n and one and uh, I do GL rotation in this I to scale it up to one, GL one rotation. And then uh, then I can write my sort of, uh, so, so my, mm, Hilbert scheme of one point in C2 is, uh, is like lambda mu and one, which is in C3, let's say, but this is like a C2. So this reproduces the result and was ideal is like a point here, as expected. So it's, it's a vanishing locus of this function, that's my idea. And I can fit the other example as well here. So the next example is slightly more complicated. So we, we all know that probably that uh, I mean in this case the space is kind of stratified. So I fix I fix first. Okay, so this would be like first two by two matrices here. Yeah, so I take the first stratum where I can diagonalize simultaneously B1 and B2 with distinct eigenvalues. Okay, I, I put them in some form already. And I choose my stability parameter like this. Then, then you can compute the ideal is a vanishing locus. Okay, the ideal would be the vanishing locus of two functions now, like lambda one mu one equals to zero equals to lambda two mu two. So this corresponds to two two points, two points in C2, that's what it is. Or on the other hand, you could have, maybe I can fit the other part here, yeah. But the other stratum is, the other useful stratum is, the one when you have uh, B1 and B2 are non-diagonalizable. So I can put them in the Jordan block form. Oops, sorry. And And my stability parameter will be something like uh, this upper term, because uh, yeah, zero, one, right. Then uh, the ideal would be given by the vanishing locus of this function, and not only that, the derivatives as well. So I need uh, this plus evaluated at lambda mu. That's also zero. So it, it describes a, co a colliding pair, so pair of points. So it tells you how they collide. So these are the two important stratum. And, uh, okay. So now I need to, so um, I will go, oh, come, maybe I can use this, for, yes. So then I have to describe, so nat naturally, as you can understand, there is a uh, sister two action in this uh, Hilbert scheme of two uh, for, uh, in C2. So, uh, and of the uh, fixed points are going to be monomial ideal because they have to be doubly homogeneous, right? So the thing is, uh, how, how do I describe this, um, this structure in terms of the ADHM data? It's like I fix a homomorphism, which runs, which is like this. And, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, and I, okay, I, these are like T1 and T2 are the characters. Then the uh, set of fixed points admits a wet space decomposition. So this would be like KL and VKL. I mean, this is a usual definition. So like um, uh, an element in VKL uh, and VKL goes to uh, T1 to the K, T2 to the LV under the action of lambda, yeah? So uh, then I can, um, 
I, I, I have this diagram basically. Oh, okay, so one more thing is that B1 and B2 act as like lowering operators. So B1 acting on VKL is, what was this, yeah, VK minus 1L and B2 VKL is KL minus 1. Then you have this commutative diagram literally. So you have like K minus 1, L minus 1. This would be for me B2, I guess, here, yeah, B2, B2, yes. From V K minus 1 L. This B1, KL minus 1. From V K L. And other arrows. So this, this should commute. And the statement is that since uh, I, uh, uh, which is like um, the image of I basically. So this is like a zero, this is a zero, one dimension. It's like V0, zero, 0. So B1 to the K, B2 to the L of I literally generates the generates all the fixed points. Okay. So now you can of course imagine what I'm going to say is by I can represent this thing by this this uh, raising and lowering by Young tableau, right? So how do I draw my Young tableaus here? So for n equals to 1, okay, after I factor out the translation degrees of freedom in, in Hilbert scheme of points, like this is C2, so I just fix, I, mean, I declare the fixed points like 0, both of them are 0, right? And the module, so we, we for some reason call them a DHM module. I do not think it's a standard name, but okay. So this, and what I want to do is to put a box at a 45 degree angle. So for n equals to 2, you have 2. So this would be, let's say c times z1 here. So, and then I place my yang tableau like this. And the point is that when I go up like in this way, I put a, I, I raise by b1. I stack boxes, so I give it, give, it, give it a name, like stacking of boxes. So this is the part that I'm going to connect with the network, so I'm just setting up the definition. So for the other one is this. It's called B2. So I stack my boxes in this way. So this B2 goes like this, and so on. Non-stable partitions for three, for example, if I take n equals to three, then not all partitions are stable. The sort of the gravitationally, there are some, the ones which are gravitationally unstable. So this is, this is not going to work. So this is not a module. Oops, uh, B1. Okay. Uh, this, this is a non-module, so this is a not stable partition for the stable in the sense that you stack box, uh, stable in the sense of stability, but it's not stable because I, it's a pictorial representation of this that there, there is a, a, so like it's not, a, there is a box which has like, uh, So I'm saying that you have a weight space decomposition of the fixed points, and you can go up and down by B1 and B2, and this is not a valid way of going up in B1 and B2. As compared to, for example, a stable partition would be of this type. This is a stable partition, and for this, the corresponding way of going up would be this, for example, and then there would be B1. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, it doesn't mean. I throw, I, I throw, I throw, throw it out. Throw it out. That uh, I mean. It, so okay. So what happens is uh, that I mean we will um, identify all these stable partitions with some. It, it, it so it, so it means that it doesn't satisfy the commutator. Yeah. I don't call it a partition. I mean, I, I will discard it later. Which representation is that? 
Ah, so so if you want to consider linear partition of n equals to three, there will be three partitions, right? So three. I'm just uh, I'm just setting up a no case. I was I would I would throw uh, yeah. It's none, 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 just none. Ah, given a p, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I, I wanted to in, uh, introduce this notion that this. So, the reason of reason for which I put these things at, at an angle is because they kind of. It's in the sort of you have to imagine that this is gravitationally unstable because this box can slide down, and this is why it's a non -mode. Yeah. That it is the it doesn't satisfy the commutational relation. Yeah. It, it can, cannot. That's the point because it doesn't satisfy the it doesn't satisfy the commutator. This is not even a representation. <laughs> okay. This 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 can be erased. If, if, if you do not like it, this can be erased. Okay, sure. I mean, there was a, there was a point probably it didn't come across, but that's fine. That's fine. So okay. So what we want to do is that now I change gears a bit. I want to describe how ADHM quiver appears in string theory. Yeah, just 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 few words, and so that I can go into drawing some networks. So, so, are you saying that picture is meant to represent the moment condition? No, it doesn't satisfy the, okay, yeah, sure, it doesn't satisfy the moment condition. So, but it is an act to represent the Not stable. Yeah, yeah, not, not stable, not stable, yeah, yeah, not stable. Oh, 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 I can write them down. Okay, okay, okay. So I can write down B1 and B2 for it, for this, for example. There would be. Huh? Ah, C, C, like uh, n dimensional vector space, like CN and C. Yeah. Uh, three, three. That's the thing. Yeah. The one, like the W has one, always one. And the other one is three. I just. So for that, so I can write down some matrices, yeah, which will not come. To okay, write. Yeah, which is not, yeah. Yeah, 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 precisely, yes, precisely. Okay, so, uh, right, uh, fine. So, hmm? so in string theory, what happens is that, I mean, I will not, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just, I'll just uh, give the punchline maybe. So uh, this ADHM quiver appears when you have one uh, D4 brain, one non-compact D4 brain. I mean this this particular one, yeah. One non-compact D4 brain, non-compact. And uh, like with a bound state of that with of a bound state with like in D zeros, in D zero brains, the only ones which could be compact in the case because, like, we, we, we are in flat space. In this case, C three. All right. So now uh, we want to. Uh, so so how do they look like? So if I want to draw the picture, so of course I will draw it in the mirror. But Mauricio explained that we set up our uh, machinery for exponential network, not in this uh, in in the mirror for C three. So I can write a pair of pens, draw a pair of pens. I fixed a ramified covering. So I took my C3 in some presentation that was, uh, yeah, okay, let me give me, give me, say, yeah. So I took C3 in some presentation. So I took my sigma minus y square minus y minus x. So it has a branch point. So let's mark the branch point here. So uh, the d4 in this case, which you draw in the red color, is a non-compact 
thing which passes through the branch pointer, runs from one function to the other, and the D0 is attached to the branch point. I can so these are the special Lagrangians here already. So it has this projection. So I mean I can identify from the intersections what the uh, what the what the arrows are basically. So this is this corresponds to B2, this corresponds sorry B1, B2, and this is I. This is one intersection because this is a branch point. Right? So uh, we can, so uh, <laughs> was supposed to de describe D0's computation in C3, but we didn't get time. But I can just quote the result so we can co compute for omega D0 in C3, that's going to be minus one. I wrote that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no D4, just D0. I mean, I did, did, okay, so yeah, this is omega of D0. Still, there is no D4. I just wrote omega. Precisely, precisely, precisely. And the projection on the, so um, if you take this, so there are like two punctures sitting on x equals to zero, right? Uh, yeah, so you, you so in, on the x plane, like C star x plane, oops, sorry, the other way around. This, this, this thing looks like, uh, yeah, this list looks like, um, maybe I should draw like this. It looks like this. And then uh, you have a D4 as well. So there is another puncture here, this is the other one. So yeah, I put my D4 back. And this D4 projects to something like this. I mean, of course, we chose a trivialization. I mean, we draw the branch cuts like of the logarithmic cover as well. So I don't draw them here for the moment. And then I form the bound state by doing a Lagrangian surgery at the branch point. So maybe I choose a different color. Oh, no, maybe I have to use something here like red. So this is how a bound state of D4 and D0 is going to look like on the on the on the on the on the x plane, sister x. And and correspondingly, yeah, it's a bound state of this these two guys here. So you might want to choose to do a surgery at the branch point. Okay. And then we move on. So then uh, we can also draw, okay, so this, oh, ah, yeah, so th that, that was the point. So I identified my uh, branch point, like when it was there, like with, with uh, this um, I, right, the arrow I. So the first box, the D4, D0 partition, corresponds to this one. So I identified that there is a way of packaging the data of like forming the bound state, like how which surgeries do I do with the elements of the matrices in B1 and B2 right, in, in the corresponding representation in the boxes. So then I give a couple of more examples. Trajectory of? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are okay. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have specified. So yes, 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 yes. So um, when you uh, fix the D four, you have to fix. Uh, I mean, there D four exists at all thetas, right? But you fix one D four, which passes through one, some point that's close to the close to this puncture, yeah, close to the puncture on the right. So you fix specific D four. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm telling. So if you once you fix that, then you know the I mean uh, you know the angle. Like I uh, that that for those angles, this passes. I mean the stable D force are the ones which passes through that point. So that tells you the angle essentially. It's infinite, right? You have to yeah yeah you have to regulate it in some way. So Ah, uh, what D4 from D0? Yeah, so that, the, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah, exactly. So you have to use a cutoff. I mean, there is a, that, that's why I said like it passes through one specific point near the puncture. So that's the cutoff. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> well, that was a. Oh, okay. So he gets to ask. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't really go near the to the to the to the puncture here. You choose a cutoff at the, until like let's say this. Basically, yes. Is exactly, 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 exactly. You want uh, the central charge to behave in certain way, like it when it reaches the cutoff is like log x square. There's a kind of standard expectation, and then you, the, I, I mean, you, you, the, the stable defaults are the ones which uh, go pass through that point through that specific critical angle, or like bound states thereof. All right. So, uh, oh, why am I using? No, this is not good. Okay, so now I want to do the same thing for d4 2d0, and what I'm claiming is that my network looks something a bit more complicated. So I, I'm going to explain what is what. So it's okay. I mean, I choose some trivialization of. I mean, for the. Uh, uh, for, for this, I mean, there is a branch cut here, and then there is some like logarithmic cards which I can fix. So I'm claiming that this is of type like okay. So I fix like two sheets. Let's call them like plus and minus. So when it starts from the branch point, as what I show you, explain this like plus minus zero, and this like minus plus zero. So after doing all this, this ray, this this green line is of type either of plus plus one or minus minus one. So what I do is that so. So okay, so I, I can I can form the bound state by again by Lagrangian surgery. So what you can do is to say I take a copy of uh, take that d4 d0 and uh, 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 join it up with another copy of d0 on top of that, and th that can be done in two ways. That can be this this surgery could be done in the plus sheet or could be done in minus sheet. So these are the two options. And if I were to do it in the plus sheet, I would say I just at this stage I just identify. So I would say I stack up the boxes along B1. If I so this would correspond to the one we should like be plus plus. And if I were to do the surgery on the minus sheet, I would say it's two. So that would that would be like stacking up the boxes along B2. And I can keep on playing this game. Yeah. I can I can define a stack. I can yeah exactly. I can define stack. Yeah. Yeah yeah that yeah. Uh, so so that would be the just the d zero. So I identify this. Yeah, yeah. How is that related to the C star Q potential? To the C star Q potential. Yeah, yeah. So that that's the potential for the, the Yeah, yeah. That curve, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, okay. So this this way you can build up. So for any cost of the third partition, what you can do as well now, so something like this. I mean something very similar actually. So 
I will draw just one of them, yeah? Or maybe I can draw two of them, these two partitions together. Where's the other one? Yes, something like this. Okay, so this have to be either both both of last plus type and forget for the moment the kind of the logarithmic index. So these either are both of type plus plus one and plus plus one or both would be like of type minus minus one and minus minus one. Mixed ones are not allowed because if you did, if you had the mixed one, then you would actually have a holomorphic disk obstruction. And because I have to satisfy my commutator relation like B1, B2, zero, I don't allow for that. So that would correspond to, so this was a point of drawing that non-partition. So if you were to take one of them plus plus one, one of them minus minus one, not only you get overcount, you also do not get a unobstructed Lagrangian. So for three, so if I do plus, both of them plus plus, because I did both the surgeries on the plus sheet, this is my way of stacking. And for one, 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 I take both minus, yeah? So this is, this would be my, so two two copies of this. Yeah, so this would, sorry, this would be like one, 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 let's say. And there is one more yet for this. Oops. Ah. Okay. So there is one more partition of this. So we should be. So I draw now with the red. I say, yeah, okay. So I draw with this. And now in my trivialization is of type plus minus, or I think minus two or something like this, yes. Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. So you get the foot network, I mean, draw the network, and you want to decompose it according to representation. Yeah, it's the same phase, yeah. All of them, all of them should expect to appear together, yeah. So uh, yeah, for this, you have a plus minus. So there is a way of, like, so you, if we do one of the surgeries, one of the sort of Lagrangian surgery on the plus sheet, the other one you do simultaneously at the minus sheet. So this would correspond to a two one partition for this. Okay, so, and then what you can do is that you can draw more and more complicated networks. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Yes, that, that's the thing. So I mean, I could. Uh, I mean, if I just drew the network, I could come up with any any possible choice of these uh, strands. But some of them are not stable ones, yeah, because it doesn't satisfy this commutation. Yes. 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 Okay, uh, Okay. So, so the upshot of this thing is that like you draw networks and with each network you can associate some, some partitions of like for some given n, yeah? And they come in sort of, uh, and, and to, um, I mean to each of these strands, like you have them here, right? D they, they, we call them descendants. So each of them, each of these descendants for each of these descendants, you can associate a path, like in the in the in the in in, in the in the stacking of boxes. So probably I'm drawing the other way around, but that's fine. But this is like green, and this would be like green. So, so this is the, this is the title. This is the this is the linear partition for exponential network. You can detect the linear partition from different pieces of the network. This partition of three, for example, like three, two, one, 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 one. These are linear partitions. Line, line, linear partition of three, the number three, digit. Partition. Yeah, yeah, partition. The, 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 the yeah, 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 okay. Oh, no, no, not, not the other, but the, 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, just partition, just partition. Yeah. Connecting, okay, that, that's the next part of the talk, yes. 
that, that's what I'm going to say. Yes. That's the. That's what I'm going to say. Yes. <laughs> At least heuristically. <laughs> yeah. Not all details have been worked out, but okay, sure. So yeah. So so I changed the gear now. This is the part which Mauricio did not say. It's not about non-available education, but it close. So okay. So we want to count a brains in the mirror. Yeah. So they are like a Lagrangian. It's a special Lagrangian, and we also always take a unitary flat connection here because all of the all of the things which you take are Lagrangians are primitive. So uh, right. Uh, then um, I can I can consider a moduli space for this Lagrangian. So which I denote by okay. This is not the right L probably. M L. But then I can I I I have that like the moduli coming from the holonomies. So I have a t to the b1 l worth of uh, holonomies, and I and I also have a modular space of the a brains, which I also denote by m l, but this is a different a. I, mean, I keep the same l somehow. So now I have an action of this t to the b1 l. Okay, I mean first I write the vibration essentially, and now you have an action of t to the b1 on m l, right? So then. The claim is that we look for the fixed points of this t to the b1 action. And uh, these fixed points are related to the networks in the, in the sense which I'm going to describe like right now. But first, let's uh, try to uh, uh, understand the definition. So this t to the b1 acts on this m. And you look, uh, the fixed points are the ones where the full torus degenerates, right? So I come up with a definition of omega up to a sign. Yeah, yeah. So this is the modular space of just the Lagrangian. That's the modular space of A brains. So this A brains. So you need to. Uh, a, like A brain is this same L with the unitary connection. A script M is just a special Lagrangian. Well, I mean, in our case, yeah, I mean, there can be many points, yeah, just not one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which ML? This one? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is a, this is a space of deformation of, of the just the special Lagrangian. That's just a real real piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has the po positive. Yeah, the, and you complexify this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so I come up with a definition of and, and times the number of fixed points. So I don't know. Okay, so I, I denote them. So we we with, we had a proposal with like at twenty two with Pietro and Mauricio. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly. So uh, right uh, then, okay. So uh, okay now 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 let's let's so let's remember something. So I want to look at these L's on the mirror curve. So the mirror curve is like a branch covering, right? So let me draw the branches. It's, oh, that's not the right way to. How did I draw them? Maybe. And this is my X plane. Explain. You fix a point x, and the thing is that you connect the premages of x by a straight line on, on, on this. So when so these are my sigma, right? So the conic fiber here is degenerate, and somewhere here the u circle is there. So now, so if it's a straight path, then basically what I'm considering is S2 fiber Lagrangian, like sphere fiber Lagrangian. So I want to consider those, which of course like these points would be now denoted by y i, let's say n, like yeah, n i, yeah, and this is like y j n j, the sheets of my thing, yeah. So I denote the S two fiber as okay, n minus m is like yeah, sorry, n 
j minus n i is like little n. So I have a vibration on the x plane of this type. Now the point is that, so the thing, the, the, there was a network equation like which Mauricio drew, uh, wrote before in the morning, but if you integrate actually the holomorphic top form on this Sijn, you get exactly the same differential. So what, so, oh well, which I don't want to write, but fine. You, you, you get uh, lambda j, lambda j n j minus lambda i, oops, lambda i n i. Right, but remember, b1 of s2 is zero. Huh? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, but, 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 um, ah, so you parameterize, you, there's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, okay, ah, okay, so what is going to say? So now, uh, uh, the point is that you can uh, think about this, okay, so this uh, special Lagrangians that I want to consider in this case are like, these ones, which are fibered by these S2s. So the, ah, I can think about these differentials at this stage as like, as defining the foliation of the C star X plane, essentially. So the thing is, since I know B1 of S2 i j n is zero, I can study the space of leaves, the leaf space of this foliation, and deduce some information, at least the, 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 the uh, not only just the fixed points, but also the dimension of this uh, thing, the B1 of the L, just by studying the uh, leaf space. So, so, uh, I'll recover something from this, so, Warm up examples. How much time do I have? Ten minutes. Oh, okay, very good. So, warm up examples. So, take uh, a special Lagrangian. Uh, so, take a take a take a uh, projection of the special Lagrangian, which runs from like two branch points. So, of course, like you have a space of foliation. So, these have like things go out from branch point. So, I draw the foliations for this differential. So, now we know by Maclean's theorem that the modular space of this Lagrangian is just a point. So, I can deduce that the modular space of the A branch is also like a point for this case. And there I count omega. So remember the formula like dimension of ML, so which is like zero here, times non number of the critical components, so that's like one. So if you were to do the non evaluation computation, you would get one as well. So then there is another example, the one of the vector multiplet. So in this case, you parameterize the foliations by the distance from the branch point. So these are like my lines of, these are my leaves, and the distance is r zero, r let's say, yeah, to cut off. So then this in this case is like r positive reals, right? Positive reals, just positive ones. So ml in this case is like a c, and I can compute my omega. So it's like minus one with times 
the dimension and number of critical components, which is like minus one. So if you were to compute by non-evaluation, you'd get the same result. What? I didn't. Couldn't hear. Oh, greater or equals to zero. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, maybe I can put a C star. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. You, you measure from here, you want to say, yeah? Okay, fine. Right. But now I play the same spiel to deduce these first two examples which I, which I wrote about Hilbert scheme of one point in C2 and Hilbert scheme of two points in C2. So as you can imagine that at the, at the end points when, it, when, when uh, it hit the branch point, those are the critical leaps of the foliation. So these are the ones which when we plot exponential networks we get. So okay, first is this, I want to recover this. So, um, so this was my critical network, which, uh, yeah, which we had. But then what we can do is that you can open up, so you can do a Lagrangian surgery at this intersection to go to a phase which is not critical, which is not critical leaf, but let me put a color here, maybe green is good. Like or either on the plus plus sheet, plus sheet or the minus sheet, yeah? I mean, there are two possibilities. Well, the interpretation for this is that you take R2, and then in this R2, the length of this plus plus or minus minus defines how far you are from the, from the origin. So this would be like, uh, okay, so let's call this L. So this is L. And if I did a minus surg uh, surgery on the minus sheet, I would be somewhere here. This would be like L again, let's say. Okay, L prime minus minus one. So from this I can deduce that M for this L is like R2, right? And from this I read off my ML as like C2. The thing is that, uh, the thing is that with these foliations, I cannot. Uh, so, so okay. So, I start from this critical point. I do something. I do a surgery here to open up this. This. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but I cannot. So, uh, so with 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 these uh, ways of projecting them, I cannot really access these points. I only am stuck in the on the axis, but I still see parts of the R2. No, L, L has a finite length. I mean, L cannot be as large as you want. Ah, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, L can be as large as you want, yes. Ah, then it, the, D, the D0 gets just detached. I mean, it just gets detached. So it becomes like a digital. Di Exactly, 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 exactly. Yeah, here again. So, okay, so this is the recovery of my hill. Oh, well, I mean, plus plus is one, L and minus minus is L prime. Okay, let's call it L. Let's call it L. I just came up with a. Uh, no, they're dependent, actually. I mean, I, I mean, so you choose one, one lift, right? I mean, you could choose plus plus and minus minus, and then I mean, they are independent, of course, but in the, I mean, when you project it to the, when you have the network, it's one or the other. Like you when you draw the foliation. Yeah, are you near? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so the. Yeah, yeah, it's R union R. I mean, with this foliation, I cannot access. So, e oh. yeah. So up to up to a little bit of assumption. Yes, I'm just I I can. So with uh, this, I mean, looking at this foliation, I can access only like not the full modular space, but a part of it. Like. Yes, I cannot. I can. I cannot. I. I. I just. I just don't have the technology to draw them. That's it.
oh, this is this is the piece. This let's say this is uh, this is expectation. This is a conjecture. I mean, I know the answer, right? It's. A, Because Hilbert, Hilbert's scheme of one point is six, so it's, yeah, exactly. Mirror symmetry. <laughs> I know the answer, yes. I, 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 try to, I try to see as much as I can get from using these foliations, yes. Uh, at, least I, uh, at least what I can honestly get are the fixed points. Fixed point is for this is, I, I know. This is this, this one. This I can get. This is this point. Uh, it means that I just do not know how to draw the generic leaves of foliation. I know I, I, I can only draw partially fixed ones. Yes. I mean that the, the, the <laughs> no, but this this precise point will be clear. Ex ex expectation. Expect. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So if 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 I forget if if I don't invoke mirror symmetry for a moment, then this would be expectation. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that is a question. That is a question. Yes, and, and, and I don't see like all, I just see a part of it. <laughs> yeah, sure. So then, yeah, then the other example is for me is the, is uh, like, is the Kilbe scheme of two points now in C2. So, uh, okay, so let me see. This, the, 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 the uh, Yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, actually, in the next in the next picture, it will be even clearer because, as you will see, that with this technology, with this technology, I cannot see even one of the stratum. I mean, I just don't see that. So, I start again from my D four two D zero the fixed uh, fixed thing, the fixed network. Let me remind you what this was. Okay, there was a green line, which was of a certain type. Uh, 
So I do the same thing. So I have, it's like on plus plus or minus minus sheet. So I can try to bubble up this intersection. I can, I can do a Lagrangian surgery here. Right? And then I would get something that gives me some control on the parts of the modular space. So I will get a line which is of some type, like plus minus probably. Plus minus with some logarithmic index, I think minus two. And, and this closes in this form. So now I can track the length. I, I can see like how this, this thing fixes. So remember like when I wrote the matrices for the fixed points, so I wrote something like, um, uh, sorry, I, I wrote the parametrization for any point in this Hilbert scheme of two points in the stratum where the fixed points lied, where, where you had like description of two colliding points, yeah? So that was like this. So alpha, beta take value in P1. And if you use the, like in the very beginning, I wrote a D term equation. So if you use the D term equation, you literally get this. Alpha square plus beta square is theta. That's the FI parameter. I can put it to one if you want. That's one. Now, the, now either of these fixed points lie when you, uh, you collapse this, you contract this green, is blue piece, it's a blue, yeah, the blue piece to zero. I mean, to get back to the initial, like the fixed, the, the, spect the exponential network which we had for the default to the zero. Now, the interpretation for this is that you are interpolating between these two. Uh, so you start, for example, by doing a surgery on the plus sheet, and then you eventually like connect it, merge it back on the, on, on this one, on the other side. So this way you see, this way, I mean, this is only a real part, so this is a real projection. You only see the real slice, but still you understand that, I mean, you, you, you get, what, what, what do you get from this picture? You get B1, I mean, that, that there are two fixed points when this collapses entirely, and you get that they are interpolating by, a, I mean, the, like they bubble up on a kind of a real interval. And I can, I, I can associate having a P1 to that. So this is the, I mean, this would be the interpretation, like when you have two colliding points in the Hilbert scheme of points, you blow up the diagonal by a P1. So this is the P1. So, but, but of course in this picture, I do not see the other stratum where, uh, where I had the first stratum, where I, uh, let's say stratum one, where I had this. I, using networks, I do not see that. And the reason is clear actually, why, why I don't see that. Because I start from the fixed points, yeah, okay, so I assume that I have a cell decomposition of the modular space. This I assume. And each cell contains a retract to one of these fixed points. And now if I start from the fixed point and do Lagrangian surgery to see the cell, I, 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 I mean, if I start from a fixed point, I might not have the possibility to scan the full modular space through just these real, uh, real projections. And that's what is going on. So I just see a part of it. Uh, the, 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 this does not have any chance because this has D0. These D0s in special network limit are all killed. But in situations, yes. For example, you could try to play a similar thing. You could play the same game with some like local F0, let's say. I mean, it has a good spectral network limit. And you could try to see yeah, if, uh, if you can at least access uh, some parts of the modular space of some given representation, I and mean, why not? So it survives in the spectral network limit. Oh, we haven't, we did, we, we, we wrote two papers with Pietro and Mauricio and won this, and I, I don't know. I mean, th these are the examples which we studied, and it's a thing to, st it's a thing to study, I and mean, we haven't done it. In, our, in various examples, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the upshot. So outcome is that, um, okay, so you have, uh, if you have a quiver description, which we have, and if you know how to write the fixed points, then you can associate a network to each, you can represent these fixed points 
in terms of these pieces of the network. It, it, it can assist some network to these fixed points. Yeah, actually, yeah. So, 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 it's kind of like learning. So, initially, I drew, I, I associated a few, but I can actually draw a network if you give me a partition, and that works. Like, if, there's an algorithm. Uh, algorithm, yeah, yeah. So, I know how this works for Kronecker. I know how this works. For, I mean, we know how this works. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. I mean, there are other examples also we can do. I mean. If the quiver is too too complicated, I mean, it's like if it's too many relations or something, then I might have problem. I mean, I, I, it's, it would be hard to implement the algorithm. So there is. Uh, so I give I, I give you the example. So we, we had this with uh, them. So it can take d zero, right? The mirror of d zero is a t three. But the T3 does not admit uh, S2 fibration, right? So what you want to do is to degenerate this T2, a uh, T3, so partially fix it so that you have an S2 fibration. And that picture which I drew for just the D0, it is that partially fixed picture in C3. So but then from the intersection still, you can read off the quiver data. So this intersection I will associate, let's say, a web like X. And since it's a branch cover, so this is like Y and Z. So the way I read it is that it's a quiver with three loops. So one is x, one is y, the other one is c. And it gives, I mean, if you compute the potential, I mean, if you compute the disk here, you get the right, right. Uh, I mean, there's a statement from Foucault category, you like have, uh, you, you, you get the quiver potential. So I can construct the quiver from the projections of the language, if that's what you're asking. Me, me, yeah, for the moment, yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the, yeah. No, oh, it's i j. It's i j zero. Yeah, yeah. So, so the way, so the more d zeros you wrap, like d four n d zero, that comes with a profile. Like when it goes to the uh, puncture, right? There, there's this. So, for example, if it's at two d zero, it will go like with i j two. Which I don't get the question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but 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 uh, uh, but but in the in the so when I when I drew the quiver first, I had two arrows, right? B one and B two. And I know that there's a self intersection in this D four D zero, which leads to two. I I do not want to have like three sheets, because I only have two arrows to lift. I mean, I, I associate one lift to one arrow. Framing is a branching, basically, of sigma, like, yeah. No, I mean, we do, we should not get different answer, right? Because, I mean, I want to, so, um, yeah, I, I do not, yeah, I mean. Yeah. 
Yeah, because um, uh, yeah, I mean, to, to implement it is not trivial, but if it, so for example, I, I, I mean, you can ask the same question about D0, right, in C3. If I change the framing, will it change the answer or the quiver? The answer is not, because each of these intersections lifts to only one arrow, right? Why? Why work? Yeah. Uh, how, how, like, I'm... Oh no no the, 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 so but but once I specify the um, I mean I, I specify a cutoff near the puncture and I demand it goes through there with some profile given profile. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, the, if I were to get, I need a D six. And I don't have a D6 because I am doing everything with the middle curve. Well, no, no I mean, not, not obvious from this. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, this you can, this you can do, this, 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 this would be, the, uh, yeah, that's, that's deep. That. Uh, profile, so if you have more than one, so if you, if you put higher rank, like in yeah. the framing node, yeah. then you would have more D4. Yeah. Uh, I have like just more things coming from its right. Precisely, precisely. Uh, and then what the other thing is, like if you have more than one, Equivalence with respect to this extra action, this frame. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can see the fixed points somehow. Well, the fixed point, I don't have needed pairs of partitions. Because pairs of partitions, right? Yeah, but uh, I mean, the thing is a bit bottom up, right? I mean, you start from the fixed point, you start going, I mean, you start trying to scan the rest of the modular space. That is a real slice if you can. I don't know. I mean, that's a good question, actually. Yeah. 